My brothers and I were recently contacted by a family in southern Kentucky, claiming their family has been under attack by a dark and evil entity. Recently, the family's pets have been mysteriously dying. The family has asked my brothers and I to come in and see if we could figure out what's going on inside their house. My name is Josh Foreman, and these are my brothers, Rocky and Sean. As children, the three of us experienced a very dark and evil haunting. We have now set off on a journey across the country, helping families trapped in their own nightmare, filming and documenting some of the most shocking paranormal footage. Do it again for us right now. Whoa. Go, go, go. It's right there. That door slammed wide open. You know who we are. You know what we do. It all ends tonight. Woo. Manifest yourself so we can see you. This is Paranormal Nightmare. Make a bet to uh, find it. Uh, I hope it wasn't too hard for you to find it. No. I'm Wendy, yes. Nice Thank you for being here. Congratulations. Hi, Billy. Seeing dark shadows like next to the bed, like watching you when you're trying to sleep. I had like dogs we were like really attached to and somehow they come down sick. So you've had several animals pass away here? Yeah. What do you think's here? I think it's something evil. And where do you experience most of the activity? In the back rooms. Because when I'm back there, I feel so scared and panicky, like I don't need to be back there. Seeing like really dark shadows, just watching you wherever you go. Like you're taking a shower, you feel like somebody's there like watching you. And you're trying to sleep and like you hear noise in the room and it sounds like it's just right next to you. Well, I felt like something was like standing over me, like trying, like breathing on me, like trying to get my attention. Yeah, I say it's messing with my brother. It's causing him really bad health problems and and he just ain't, ain't been acting like himself, really messing on his health and stuff, trying to really do damage to him that way. Uh, he's had a brain surgery and he's had two strokes while they're trying to do the operation. And uh, then they recently put like a, like a machine that like goes over the heart where it can like trigger when he has one, it snaps him out of it. And it seems like it's doing okay, but he's still having them. So what's kind of your fear as far as if you don't find out what's going on here? I'm afraid it's going to hurt my brother or my mom and dad. Something really bad's going to happen. Now I'm really hoping you guys can really help them and they can be like a normal family and don't have to worry about waking up to something that's going to harm them or... What do you think's here? Something evil. And I say there's more than one here too. Before I contacted you guys, she said she had a dream of this like dark shadow saying, uh, he's like, I know they're coming and they ain't gonna help you. You ain't gonna get no help at all. He's like, I'm gonna take everything away from you. You think once the spirits knew that we were coming, it got more aggressive? Yes. Well, I contacted you guys really hoping that you can help us and solve or find out whatever's here if it's really good or like if it's bad or we just need your guys' help. We appreciate everything you guys do to families helping people. Although the entire family has had personal experiences, it seems most of the attacks have been focused on the mother Wendy. Well it started when I was about eight years old and that one hurts me the most. Um, I'm more personal. I never told this to anybody except my husband. Uh, when I was eight years old, we lived in a rental house, just not too far from up the road. And uh, my mom, we had these twin beds. We had, it was a two bedroom house and we shared. And this black shadow figure, it looked like smoke. It crawled and moved on the walls and stuff. and. And uh, I kept seeing it, and what it would do, it would like paralyze me in the bed. And my bed would shake, and it would float, and I would start screaming. I was like, Mom, there's something wrong. And my mom would never believe me. Like I said, this county never does 
believe in something like that. And if you had something like that, they would say there's something wrong with you. And it would, my bed would float, shake and everything. And one night it did it again and I started screaming and it was just like hovering over right face to face. And it was icy cold. It was so cold. And all I could do was I couldn't move. I just, just kept looking at this thing just hovering and moving and it was black. And finally I didn't try to move my fingers a little bit and I screamed and my mom said, that's it, that girl, I've had it with her. She jerked me up. She set me in a chair in the kitchen all by myself in the dark. She said, this is your punishment. And that thing was still there, it was following me. And it was in the kitchen, you know, the living room and it was just swirling around and swirling around and I was screaming. I was like, mom, the thing's in here. And I said, you gotta believe me. She said, it's your imagination. It's time for you to grow up. And I just broke down and started screaming. And my dad said, that's enough, Wanda. That's my mom's name. He said, I'm gonna go get that girl. So you're gonna have her to have a nervous breakdown. Well, when he came in, to in halfway, my bedroom in the living room, he stopped. And I was like, my dad, I said, can you see it? And my dad said, oh my God, I see it. He said, don't move. And I said, I'm not gonna move from this chair. And uh, he said, don't move, babe, don't move. And mom said, what's wrong, Mike? He said, there's something in here with our daughter. And uh, he said, grab the Bible. And he started saying some Bible verses and that thing, didn't like it. it shriveled around a little bit, went up the wall and shoot it out from the wall, inside the wall, and it disappeared. So that's the first time I've met this black shadow. I've seen it. And that's why I'm thinking it's something that's not good and it's falling. And I can't get rid of what it is. I'm sorry. What do you think it is? <laughs> Could be, I know it ain't good. It could be a demon or something because my grandpa, when he was alive, he was a preacher. And we went and my grandpa said, he came to our house and he said, you guys got to move or this thing's going to kill your daughter because it's after your daughter. And now since we've gotten down here, I've seen it two more times. I was in bed asleep. I mean, I was, you know, starting to doze off and hey, my husband already asleep and my son sleeps in this room here. That same black shadow came floating down from the ceiling up to the wall and it stayed in the corner right here in my son's room. And it formed into a dark shaped looking man. And I could tell how he was acting. He was going like this, uh, you know, in the corner. He was like seven, eight foot tall. You may think I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. But the thing was talking to me. And I woke up and I seen it. And I looked there for a minute. I thought it was somebody broke in my house. That's what the first thing I keep thinking about. Somebody's broke in, but this thing kept saying, I'm here for your son. And he said, and I said, if you go torch him, he was telling me, I'm here for your son. I'm here to take him. He's going to be mine. And I said, if you go. Nowhere near him, I'm going to charge you. I, I was scared, but I was going to charge this thing. And when he tried to move, I, I got out of bed, and my husband said, what are you doing? I said, this thing was in the corner. I said, this thing, he said, that black thing you keep saying? I said, yeah, it's wanting Andy. He comes in my dreams, and they're, they're awful. He comes in, and he's, he's like, says, I'm here to take things from you. I'm here to destroy you. You belong to me. You come with me, nothing will happen. But if you don't resist, I'll take everything you, you got away. And sometimes he comes in my dreams and warns me when he comes. He'll say, Wendy, get ready. There's something bad coming, honey. You're going to have to get ready. He does. It actually happens. There's something happens with knocking. We hear noises. We hear booms. I mean, really loud bomb booms. We've heard them twice right here in the corner back here. We was watching TV and it sounded like a bomb goes off. And we hear three knocks. And this is the same night. And this picture, believe it or not, that picture of my memo was sitting right there on the same wall. It flew off and landed right here, exactly right there, after the three knocks. 
And I said, oh my God, it's in, Bill. I said, we somehow got it back in the house. And that's it. I grabbed all the kids, ran up my mom's, and I said, Mom, there's something wrong with the house. And then we hear voices that mocks him, even sounds like him. When I lay down to go to sleep, it whispers in my ear, Mom, Mommy, or get up, wake up. I need you. And we hear children running around the house, playing at night. You can hear children running around, laughing and giggling. And the worst part is, I am 43, and I cannot sleep in my room. I do not sleep in that room, my bedroom back there at all. I don't sleep by myself back there because something happened to me there that terrifies me now, and I can't do it. I was laying in bed asleep. I was laying there, and I felt something get on the bed. Look up, and there was this man. It seemed like he came up underneath the bed and was doing this crawling looking thing on the bed and was pushing. And he had this evil looking grin from one ear to an, I mean, he like grinning. And he, I could tell you what he had on, that's how clear he was. He was just doing that creepy like crawling, getting on the bed. I screamed. I don't sleep back there by myself in that room. You can feel cold spots, you know. You can tell when somebody's there. You know, when you're back there and you're like, well, I'm gonna go. I just got a feeling you gotta go and you hear that, you better leave for a while. Better leave for a while. My hope is to find out if it is a, uh, what it wants, if it is evil, and why is it doing here? Why is it following me? Why is it tormenting me? So whatever it is, it's going after my children. And what's the area of the house that you guys experience the most activity? But the most is the back rooms, the back area, back that area. The guy that used to own the property, he was a very mean man. He didn't like children, he didn't like animals. He would beat his wife, make her, you know, he, you know, if you don't do what he did, he got beaten. And he said, uh, made her do work all the time. He didn't like animals, he killed animals. He like uh, beat a mule because it was stubborn. He took a hammer, took a hammer and beat it to death. This is his land, this is his property. He wants us out of here. We're not happy. You know, it tries to like, it tries to tear us apart, makes us fight one another, argue, and and it just, we can't enjoy happiness here. And I told my husband, I'm ready to leave. I don't want to get away from here. I, I, I don't like it here no more. It wasn't long after we moved here that we started kind of little stuff, like she said, uh, um, the kids is mostly what we heard first, running around outside, and it would be, it'd be, we'd be laying in bed, and we'd hear them out the window, and at nighttime, 10, 11 o'clock sometimes, and you know, get up, look around, no kids around, no nothing, but you could hear them running around playing, giggling. The picture, I didn't find off, that happened not long after, you know, we got in contact with you, and um, we was laying in bed, and we heard, a big old crash sound. Got up, checked, came in here. That picture was laying plumb out here, like she said, way over here. And you know, I, I picked it up, looked at it, and it wasn't broke or nothing. I was laying in bed one night, and um, something kind of startled me awake. We got a dresser back there, and it told me about yay high, and about the same height as the dresser. There was like a like a figure, looked like a little girl standing there, and. You know, as soon as I raised up and looked at it, it just kind of poof and was gone. And then uh, another experience I had, um, coming out of our bedroom into the hall, I was coming through and it was like something just stopped me or just went right through me, you know, and I just stopped me in my tracks right there. A lot of the hauntings and stuff that we deal with, yeah, you know, people are having these experiences where they're being touched or Mm -hmm. um, hearing noises, voices, things like that, uh -huh. where you guys are actually physically seeing <laughs> these entities moving throughout your house. Yes. You know, being the man of the house, Yeah. what's it like to have your wife experience these things and be scared and want to leave and... Well, it, it's rough because, you know, I, I do believe her. I believe everything she says. It's rough because you want to see it, you know, and, and hear it. and.
this is where my daughter seen the girl. We keep seeing a girl. This was her bedroom at the time when she stayed with me. And right in here, and that's where I seen the girl, right here, standing there doing that. And this is where the man came up on this bed. It was just like mashing into this. And it scared me when I seen him because I was like, now where did he come from? And when I screamed, he disappeared. And then when I was laying on this side again, and I was looking this way, and right in here is my son's room. This is where I seen the black figure, the smoky kind of shaped into a man. And he was plumb all the way up to the ceiling. And uh, he was just, when I was more like he was telling me like, I'm here for your son. And he was just like doing this. And I jumped up out of the bed here, you know, on the side. And I said, if you go towards him, I'm coming running in here and getting you. You know, although I was scared, it made me more afraid of what it would do to him. And I said, it's after Andy. And I said, I hit disappearing. He said, where at? And so that's why the cross is doing over in that corner. You know, because every noise I hear, I'm like, I'm constantly trying to listen, listen for him to do something or hear something. At the time we had carpet. Now we got no noise, but it sounded like heavy boots. And you can hear people creak. You can hear people walking up and down the hallways. And that's where we had experience in the bathroom. Now, is this throughout the day or the night, or does it really even matter? I actually don't really matter. It just, whenever it wants to kick up, it'll kick up. Okay. Now, when you walk into certain rooms, does it feel like you can kind of feel where something's at compared yeah. to yeah. another room? Yeah. Yeah, I feel the temperature. You know, it feels like, like I can feel a breeze. And he's like, I don't feel a breeze. And I say, I feel a breeze. So, whatever is here do you think it knows that we're here he knows you're coming he's not afraid you know that you're here and he said i know you're coming i'm ready while my brothers and i investigate the house we have asked the family to stay with friends for the night hey so we're down here in kentucky we were contacted by the family they've had all kinds of things going on inside this house physically emotionally everything from pets dying hearing loud bangs inside the house from talking to the mother, it sounds like this might be something that's kind of attached itself to her from the childhood and, you know, been with her for several years. And for whatever reason, once they moved inside this house, things just kind of amplified. What I like about this investigation is it's not just that they're hearing noises and, you know, having all these personal experiences. They're actually seeing these dark shadows move throughout the house, uh, manifesting right in front of them. And we believe Rocky, while he was in the kitchen with the part of the family, while me and Sean was doing the walkthrough, he seen a entity manifest itself and move on the side of the living room. Next time I know in the room next door, it was like a shadow just shot straight across and came back into this room. If there's any spirits inside this house that can hear us or communicate with us, my name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We just want to communicate with you tonight. Can you let us know that you're in here with us? Out there. It's sounding like off to my left. Can you knock louder for us so we can hear you, please? I think I'm hearing talking. Mm -hmm. I heard that. That's from in here. It's like back down this hall. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? Yeah. We can hear you knocking. Do something loud for us. Out to your left. I heard that all the way. It's off to your left. Yeah. It's walking right now. Oh, would you hear that? Yeah. Come in here with us. Who said that? Is that you guys? Nope. Male voice is my earpiece. We're here to communicate with you. If 
find out what you want with this family. I swear I just heard somebody say Josh. But it came from, it sounded like it came from um, the boys' room. And I think this is where they were. Did you just touch me? Sorry. Don't ever touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see where he was. They say they see you back here. You crawl in bed with Wendy. Have you been with Wendy her entire life? I hear that scratching. I keep hearing knocking. If you're able to manifest yourself, that means you have a lot of energy. Do something big right now and prove to us that you're here. I mean, this is all pretty much open, but you know how warm it was, like when we were shooting the interviews and doing the walkthroughs and stuff. Feel how much colder it is back in this area. You feel that? Here. We're getting 57 degrees back here. And there's no way this house is 57 degrees manifest yourself right now make it colder in here i dropped two degrees huh are you in this room with us Hold on, did you see that? The shadow, the, like, looked yeah. like, like there was a shadow that went straight through there. Which way to go? To the living room. Yeah, I seen that. I seen one that looked like it went over Josh's left shoulder. We right. seen you. Who are you? It's like right here. There ain't no air. Oh, I feel it. You feel it over here? Yeah. It's like blowing on my face. It's like air condition. Touch one of us. Got 53 degrees right here. There ain't no way. My arm's getting cold. Shoot my arm. 76, 77. Touch Rocky. I think I'm going into the bathroom. That's right. I don't know, it's just like, it's hard to hurt something right here. Is my back here? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Holy sh there's a fing face. Oh my fing god. Oh my god. There's a flash and light. Hold on, get back in here. Holy shit. Where was the face at? Get back in here, come on. Me, there's a face right back here. Dude, they fing looked straight at me. Hurry up, get back here. There's a flashing light that keeps going from the right to the left. Oh my god. The door. It's flashing. Hey, what's that flashing light? Holy Here, Josh. Okay, let me in there. There's a flashing light. Back up, Rocky. It's like right there. I don't know what the is that. Flashing? Okay, back up, let me in there. See if you can get the flash. Oh my god, dude. I've never seen anything so freaking real in my life. Are you getting the flash? Yeah. You see it? Yeah. What the hell was it? What was the face in? I don't know what the hell it was. 
What's up there? A mirror. Are you f***ing serious? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I told you I see the face. Yeah. <laughs> you see that flash of light? Mm-hmm. It's a uh, meter. The yielder how bad I'm shaking right now. <laughs> but I'm serious. You stand right here and it looked like seriously, here, give me this, okay? Yo, Rocky, come back out here where he was. I mean I could see it if you didn't know there was a mirror here. Don't it look like a, it goes like into a hallway kind of a little bit? Yeah. Like a cubby hole? Yeah, you and think it if goes. somebody shines light, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, go good. back into that bedroom. All right, you know I can get scared. I know there was somebody that climbed up on this bed. You hear that? You guys hear that scratching off and on? He was climbing up on this bed. If you're out there, come in this room. I'm telling you, that did not look like my freaking okay, face. Hold on, Rocky's guys, camera stopped. No, I don't. I'm recording. Oh, you're recording? Yeah. But I'm just saying, that did not look like my face in that freaking mirror. Whether it was, it sure in hell didn't look like it. Because, I mean, it was, like, all black. I don't know. It was just like a solid black freaking figure that was, like, looking, like, with, I don't even, I wouldn't say it was red eyes or anything, but just, like, a different color eyes. But it was, like, solid eyes. Is there somebody out here that knocked over that pair or knocked that picture off the wall? Can you do it again? I keep hear walking. That's what I just thought I heard too. I keep hear walking. That's what I just thought I heard too. Sounds like it's back here. It's like walk out here. It's not like he's talking. Are you playing with people's emotions? Are you stuck on this land here? Do you have something to do with the deaths of the animals? We're here now. It's time for you to do something. Like lights. Or something blocks them out. It's like straight something. that way. Are you watching us right now? Sam, are you here with us? Can you make this light up? Come near me. Are you not as strong as you thought you was? Is a little girl in here? If the little girl's in here, can you come up and make this light up? Yeah, for sure about going back in there. We're not here to hurt you or harm you. Just come up here near me, please. Am I getting close to you?
What do you think about these crosses above his bed? I know we're not scary guys. The black shadow that was over in the corner, are you in here? Hey, the spirits inside this house, we've got a device here that will hopefully allow you to communicate with us. You're being quiet. If you're truly inside this house, we're going to cleanse this house here shortly. And we're going to force you to leave. So if you want to put up a fight, right now is the time to do it. You're scaring the family. You're scaring the mother. Animals are dying. Do something right now. Are you afraid of the three of us? Are you that big of a coward? Show us how powerful you are. What is your name? Are you the old guy that lived here that abused his wife, killed animals, you beat a mule in the head with a hammer? You hear that? Pussy. You're a pussy, not us. That's not nice to say. Why do you keep calling me names? Is it because I'm being aggressive? Oh, you hear it? Did you hear it? Did you hear the moan? Yeah. Knocks, too. There's a moan back here. Three loud knocks. Yep. Am I getting under your skin? I hope I'm making you mad. Because you make me mad when you come in here and you scare these families. If you're dead, move on. There's no sense in you being here. Why are you here? Why are you here? You don't own this property no more. You're dead and you need to move on. Yes, really. Who's messing with Wendy? What do you want with this family? Were you in the mirror? Did you manifest yourself in this mirror? Move something, or hit something really hard. This is your chance to tell us what you want. Okay, we're back in the bedroom back here where the daughter sleeps. Are you back in this room? Oh, what? I'm done. Holy <laughs> Yeah, something just took off freaking running. I heard something run down the hall. Okay, go towards it. Oh my god. <clears throat> Where did it go? Are you filming that way? Yeah. That's good. You did hear that though, right? Yeah, it was loud. Something, something just took off running. Did it go? Where'd you go? Sean, give me the camera. Let's go back to that bedroom. And then... Hey, okay, you go back. You guys go back there. I'll stay down here at the... Yeah. Where's the ghost box? It's right there on the table. Are you in here? Where did you run to? Are 
Are you scared of us? Is that you walking, Josh? I'm not moving. There's walking behind me somewhere. You don't have nowhere to go now. Josh is out there. Me and Rocky's over here. Footsteps. Close to you? Yeah, it's in here in the kitchen. Alright. Well, if you're out there with Josh, do something. Are you scared of Josh? Said Josh. Yeah. If you can talk through this, you can do something. Why are you running from us? Said Sean. Said Sean. Said Sean. Sean, I stop. I thought it said Sean's a pussy. I don't know. Walk over there. Do you not like me? I don't think I said yes. Do I scare you? Do I scare you? Give me your name. Give me your name. Is the grandfather in here? We know you were a jerk. You treated people mean. You treated your wife like crap. You scare Wendy, you come to her in her dreams. Wendy contacted us, so your time's about up here. All by myself. Are you scared to walk up to me? There's a real big cold breeze off to my left though. We've heard you walk. Where are you at? Did you hear that? I think whatever's in this house wants you and likes you. What? Are you out here? Do it again. You want me to leave? What if me and Rocky leaves the house and you stay in here and see if you can get whatever it is to talk to you? Are you in this room behind me or in front of me? You are a knock on that door. The God! The God! The God! Bless me, that freaking. Wow. Did you hear that? I heard something. It was the freaking door right in front of me. Come out of the bathroom. Come out of the bathroom. Okay, so we just left Sean in the house by himself. Because whatever's in this house seems like it's more, it's responding more to him. Can you talk to me? Bang on something.
cameras caught it. Hopefully you were filming that, not the alarm. Set our alarm off. We seen you. That thing shouldn't reach this far, should it? Come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Any and all spirits, you must leave this house. You are no longer welcome here. We seal this room with the sign of the cross in the blood of Jesus Christ. Demonic entities, negative attachments, you are banished from this room. This room is forever sealed. We seal off this threshold, sign of the cross, in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we fill this room with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the evil ones to hide. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I command you to leave this room. You are forever banished. We seal off this bed with the blood of Jesus Christ and the sign of the cross. The entity that they see throughout this home, you must leave. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house now. We command that you leave this house, exit through that doorway. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house now. You can no longer harm this family or attack this family. We saw off this threshold, the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. You may no longer enter back into this house. Lord, we just ask that you please watch over this family and keep them safe. Lord, watch over Andy and just keep him safe and work on his health. Help him get better with the seizures and keep all the negative energy away from them. As we move on to the next case, we just pray that you stay with them and watch over them and keep them strong. And we pray all these things in your name, amen. How do you guys feel? I feel fine. You feel fine? Yeah. You've been feeling fine all night, though. Yeah. Since the cleansing, the family is no longer experiencing activity inside their home. We will continue to pray for the family and pray for Andy's health. 